Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States. More than 3.5 million skin cancers in over 2 million people are diagnosed annually. Cancer occurs when uh, DNA, which is a molecule found in our uh, body's cells, is uh, damaged and our body has an inability to repair that damage. These cells then proliferate and uh, replicate more rapidly and given enough time they turn into tumors. Fortunately with skin cancer these changes occur in the epidermis which is the highest level of the skin and so the changes are detected quite early in development, hopefully allowing for early detection and cure of skin cancer. Skin cancer typically affects three different types of cells in the epidermis, known as squamous cells, basal cells, and melanocytes. When ultraviolet radiation from sunlight hits the epidermis, it causes mutations or changes in the DNA of the cells. And when those genes or the DNA is hit by ultraviolet radiation, damage is caused. These mutations change the way the genes work. And the genes, when mutated, forget how to do the normal functions of a cell. There are some factors that may increase your risk of skin cancer. These include unprotected and or excessive exposure to ultraviolet UV radiation, sunlight or tanning booths, pale complexion, difficulty tanning, easily sunburned, natural red or blonde hair color, occupational exposures to coal tar, pitch, arsenic compounds or radium, you or other members of your family have had skin cancers, multiple or unusual moles, severe sunburns in the past. Knowing the warning signs of skin cancer can help ensure that cancerous changes are detected and treated before the cancer has a chance to spread. A practical system used to remember what to look for during your skin self-exam, known as the ABCDEs of melanoma, has been created to help you recognize the indicators of melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. With A standing for asymmetry, if one half does not match the other in its appearance, it's a warning sign. B stands for border irregularity. As moles are becoming melanoma, the edges can become ragged, notched, or blurred. Coloration is another important feature to be aware of. Moles that are turning into cancer can be different hues, brown, black, and white or red hues mixed into the mole. D stands for diameter. Most melanomas tend to be larger than six millimeters in size. Finally, E stands for evolving. Any mole that looks different from the rest or is changing in size, shape, or coloration should be evaluated closely. The American Academy of Dermatologists has recommended everybody do self-skin examinations on a regular basis. We recommend that individuals check their skin monthly and to do this most efficiently it's important to have a well-lit room, a full-length mirror and then a hand mirror to check hard to visualize areas. Ultraviolet light plays a critical role in the development of skin cancer and it's important to understand how it damages skin cells. We call ultraviolet A aging rays because they are longer, they carry more energy, they penetrate more deeply into the skin and they destroy the elastic fibers in our skin contributing more to wrinkling, fine lines, dispigmentation. The ultraviolet radiation is fully capable of causing mutations in skin cancer. Protecting yourself from the sun is the best preventative step you can take. You can still exercise and enjoy the outdoors while using sun safety at the same time. You will get some radiation from ultraviolet no matter how well you protect yourself. Our primary protection should be avoidance. Get out there in the mornings and evenings, avoid the midday sun. Secondary protection should be clothing. Protective clothing is less irritating to our skin than sunscreen can be. When you're in the shade, you're still catching incident reflected light, both visible light and ultraviolet radiation. So if you can see and the light is bouncing around, you're getting some ultraviolet radiation. The sun that you got 20 or 30 years ago might have started the cancers. But the sun you're getting today and yesterday and tomorrow in the short term is accelerating the ability of these cancers to grow. So do not hamstring yourself. Get your vitamin D from dietary sources. There is a spectrum of how skin cancer is treated. Skin cancer is treated differently depending on its risk category. We try to stratify different cancers by risk category. Is it low, medium, or high risk? The ability to treat lower skin cancers is significantly easier than our ability to treat high risk skin cancers. Our selection is greater, our cure rate is higher, and low risk skin cancers tend to be small, so if they're caught early, that's good. They tend to be on areas of the body where anatomy is not critical, meaning 
areas other than the head and neck. Although we can freeze, scrape and burn and treat with creams and light therapy, some of the lower risk cancers. Medium risk cancers are usually best excised to the scalpel and margins around what can obviously be seen as cancer. High risk skin cancers need to be treated aggressively. The most effective treatment is Mohs micrographic surgery. Mohs micrographic surgery allows the Mohs surgeon, who serves as surgeon and pathologist together, to completely evaluate the piece of skin that he removes. With traditional surgery for basal cell carcinoma, it curates about 95%, and it's about 99.5% with Mohs micrographic surgery. For squamous cell carcinoma, it's about 94% with traditional surgery and about 99% with Mohs micrographic surgery. Sun protection is essential to skin cancer prevention. Don't forget to avoid midday sun, wear sunscreen year-round, wear protective clothing, avoid tanning beds, and become familiar with your skin so you'll notice any changes. If you notice anything unusual, point it out to your dermatologist. For Ben Memorial Clinic, I'm Victoria Adelis.